So in this lesson, we're going to be working on our homepage header. So when we go to the, the homepage, this is the header that has the logo, the navigation buttons. Um, so we're going to set that up. Uh, one of the, the cool parts about this is this is a global feature. So once we set it up, uh, we're going to do it through the homepage, but it will apply to all of these pages. And then you have the flexibility on each page, what you want to show or if you want to switch things up. But for the most part, um, you just need to set it up in the homepage and then you're good to go on all those other core pages. So let's click Customize. When you click Customize, it's going to take you um, to the home page and it's going to show you the two tabs on the left. We've got Sections and Settings. So we've already set up our settings. So now um, in Sections, you're going to see that we have our header um, section that we're going to work on today. So when you pull this up, there's two ways to get to the header. Obviously you can just click header or you could click anywhere on here and it's going to take you into the header. So let's click on header and you're going to see that the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do the header text color. That is the text right here. What color do we want that? So I put it the same blue um, as my logo so it would match. And then the header background is all the space in the background. So currently it's set to white. But let's say I wanted to go with like a light gray or a dark gray or a green. You can see how it changes the background color. So I'm going to leave it on white. Sometimes when you click back after it's gone through a bunch, it's not going to show the white until you click the save button. So let's just click save. So it resaves the white background. There it is. And now the position we've got normal position, which is above everything. And then we have overlay. So if I clicked on overlay, it's going to overlay the video that I have in the beginning. But because I have a white background color, it's not showing a true overlay. So what I would need to do for overlay is go to transparent. And this is what you see on a lot of websites where it's this overlay. So it's just on the, the background of this video or whatever you have for the first block. It just blends into the background. In my case, uh, I'm not using that, so I'm going to switch it back to normal and the background color is white. But if you wanted an, uh, an overlay, you could do that. The next thing is a sticky header. So let me go here and when I start to scroll, you'll notice that this header is always on top. Um, that's a sticky header. If I remove that, then when I start to scroll, the header would go up with it and you wouldn't see the header anymore. Now the reason that you might want to use a sticky header is that um, as someone scrolls through your site, it either allows them to get back to a certain page or they have access um, to the navigation, you know, always at the very top. So um, I like to use the sticky header and you can choose the sticky text color. So when it starts to uh, scroll down, do you want it to look the same or do you want there to be a difference? Uh, for example, if I change this from white to, let's say, dark gray. Now, when I scroll down, you'll see that it turns dark gray. Um, in my case, I like to keep it just uniform. I don't need the, the header to, to be standing out that much when they start to scroll. So I'm just going to keep it so it looks uniform. And I'm going to save that just to make sure. Okay, once you've gone through these header settings, now you can add to the menu. So the first thing that I put in is the logo. So if you don't already have it there, you would click add content and then you could click logo. So let's go back, click on logo and I want an image. Um, if you don't have a logo yet, you could put a text file, um, for example. So I've got Jordan outside uh, right here, uh, logo text Jordan outside. So put Jordan outside right here. But in my case, I want to use my logo and you'll notice that I don't have a logo image uploaded here. The reason for that is when I was originally setting up my settings under site details, I uploaded my logo for branding right here. So I didn't need to upload this in here because it's already pulling from my branding. So I just leave that blank and my logo is right there. Uh, the image alt attribute. So it says add an image alt attribute for SEO and if the image cannot be displayed. So let's say my, my logo broke for some reason on the web browser, it would show Jordan outside and then the logo image width, um, I put as 150. So that's pixels. Um, so it says you can either put 10 PX for pixels or simply 10. In my case, I wanted 150. Let's say I change that to 100. 
you'll see that's gonna make my logo smaller. Um, if I went to 200, makes my logo bigger. So for me, I wanted it at 150. There we go. And then the logo text, that's if I were using text, uh, but it's best practice just to put in the name of your website. So I put Jordan outside. And then the logo text color, if I wasn't using uh, an image, would be the blue, that's what I chose. And then I'm using stretch block. So stretch block says uh, if you wanna fill the remaining space of that section. So when I hover over, I wanna make sure that my, my logo is taking that whole thing, so I do use stretch block. Um, if I turn off stretch block, you'll notice it moves a little bit to the right. Um, so it's not a huge difference, but in, it's my personal preference that I like to use uh, stretch block for the logo. Then the text alignment I have is uh, to the left, and that's it for the logo. So let's click Save. And let's go back. So the next uh, part that I have is the menu. So you see that this is um, a section right here. This is the menu. So if I click on Menu, or if I didn't have Menu and I wanted to add it, I could go to Add Content, and then I could click on Menu or drop down menu. So the way that Kajabi is set up is that you can have a menu, but if you want it in a, in a drop down, it's gonna create a section and then put that menu going down instead of across. In this case, it's just a regular menu. So if I click on menu, you'll see that it's gonna ask me which menu do I wanna use for right here. So I created a menu called Encore Main Menu Navigation. So I'll show you how to set up a, a menu, uh, but then you can choose, do you want the, when I click on destinations, should I open in a new tab? In this case, I don't want that. And do I want to use stretch block? Um, so let's just take a look what it does. So it puts it like that. I don't like that for the navigation. Um, so I don't use the stretch block um, for this, uh, this menu. So let's click save, and I'm going to show you how to get to the menu. So if we go back, go back, and then we're gonna get out of this, out of the homepage um, sections, go back to sites, click on design, you're gonna see navigation right here. So let's click on navigation, okay? And I'm using the new um, navigation menu. Um, I could go back to the old one. Um, so depending on when you, you view this, you might be looking at the older menu. Basically, it's the same thing. It's just the look and feels a little bit different. Uh, but these are the navigation menus. So I've got my default menus and my custom menus. So under custom menus, I created this Encore main menu navigation. So I added destinations, bucket list, resources, my library. If I wanted to add something else, I would just click the add button. And I could add a product, I could add a page, and I could add a link. Um, so just depending on what you want in your navigation, you can add it. Um, if I wanted to create a new navigation menu, you just click on that, put in the name, and add in the, the pages that you want. So pretty simple to use. And then once you've created it in your navigation, if I go back to design and go to home, click customize. So I left navigation, now I'm on customize. Let's load that up. Then let's click on header and we're on menu. And you can see that if I click this drop down, it will pull up all the different menus that I've created and I can choose which menu I want to go right here. Okay, another thing to note um, is the order. So for example, if I wanted this menu first, it would put my logo over here. Now that doesn't, that no one does that with their website design, but it just shows you that you can reorder these. So let me put that back. So that covers the menu. Now the free course, I wanted to, to stand out. I didn't want it to look like the regular menu. So what I use is a call to action. So I went to add content and then I went call to action and it brings this up. So it allows me to put in the text. So I put in free course, uh, the button action. I, I chose go to a URL. If you, you can choose go to a landing page, a checkout page, download a file, open a two-step opt-in box, go to a section on this page. So it gives you a lot of options of how you want to use that call to action. Then I put in the URL. So with Kajabi, you don't have to put in the full URL. It already knows it's jordanoutside.com. So I just put forward slash course preview, 
So it's taken them to jordanoutside.com forward slash course preview. Um, I don't want this to open in a new tab. I want them to go directly there. And then I chose red as the button background color and white as the button text color. Um, I have it on auto. I don't want it full width because I don't want it to expand beyond this. And I put it as outline, small, and I'm not using a border radius or stretch block. So that is my call to action. Let me go back. And then lastly, I've got the user menu. So this is the menu when one of my members is logged in um, so that they're able to um, navigate. That's why it's showing my face right there. Um, if not, it would show uh, login. Um, so to add that, I just want to add content and then I went to user menu. So the, the parts that I have not used um, are social icons. So if you wanted social icons uh, in your top navigation, uh, personally, I don't use social icons on the top because I want to keep people on my site, not having people leave my site. Um, I put social icons on the bottom in the footer because by the time they get to the bottom, then if they want to go, um, I'm fine with that, but not at the top. So that's, that's my personal preference. The hello bar, um, let's go ahead and just add a hello bar real quick. So it just puts a bar at the top. So if you have an announcement or something that, uh, that's important that you want your members or prospects to see, you can add a hello bar. So I don't want that right now. Let me delete that. Go to add content. And the last one that we haven't used is the uh, drop down menu. So if I added a drop down menu, it's it shows the drop down feature right here. Um, so I could choose the color of the text. So let's say we just go with blue or say the red for the drop down, uh, drop down background color. Let's go with a tan. And then what do we want it to say? So we could say, um, menu. So see, it just changes. And then I could choose which menu I want to show there. So um, I could have main menu, I could do uh, about and contact menu. And I could choose if I want these to open in a new tab or to go st straight to those pages, uh, drop down menu alignment, stretch block. And once I do that, let me click Save. Then let me go over here, refresh the browser. Okay, so now we've got this menu. If I click on it, I've got About and Contact. Save that. All right, so I'm not gonna use this menu right now. I'm gonna delete this block um, so everything's back to normal. But if you wanted a drop down menu, that's uh, how you would add it. And then you can move it around uh, to where you want that drop down menu. Um, the last part of setting up uh, your header is we have our desktop layout and our mobile layout and typography. So uh, for our desktop layout, let's say I wanted to hide the header. If I do that, then the header will no longer show on the home page on a desktop view, but it would show on a mobile view. So this is specific settings for um, whichever device they're viewing your website on. The horizontal alignment um, only applies if blocks have, have stretch disabled. Um, and then, so typically I'm not doing anything with the desktop layout for my header. Then the mobile layout, I could hide the header if I didn't want it on mobile, um, but typically you would want it on mobile. And then you can see I did use this. Um, I've got the mobile menu text alignment to the left. The hamburger icon is red and the sticky hamburger icon is red. Now, anytime you want to preview mobile, if you go down to the bottom right, click on the computer, and you'll see that we're currently in desktop, but if I click mobile, now you're gonna see the hamburger icon right here and the color. So if I wanted to change the color, I could right here, and then as I scroll, if I wanted it to change, I could change that too, but I just keep it the same. Okay, let's go back to desktop view, and that's your mobile layout settings, and lastly, we've got the typography. So this is basically how big do I want the font um, in here? And so on the desktop, I have 16 pixels and on mobile, I've got 16. And if you wanna play around with this, for example, instead of 16, let's say I wanted 24 for desktop. Now look how big that is. Um, 
which doesn't look good at all. So I'm going to put it back, back at 16. And then uh, font size for mobile, um, let's say I wanted to do 24 as well. And notice nothing happens on the desktop view, but if we go over here and go to mobile, no, well, it's not going to preview the size because it's in this menu that, that pops open uh, on a mobile device. Uh, but I like mine at 16, so I'm going to uh, go back to typography and I'm going to put mobile at 16. Save. Go back to desktop view. Okay, so now we've gone through all these different settings in the header. If we go back, we set up the header. Now, each page that we go to in the core pages on Kajabi, you're going to see the same header. Um, so basically, we've set up the global settings that, it, that will apply to those other pages. So let's get out of this. Let's go back to design. And you're going to see that on all these different pages, let's go to the library page real quick. And under sections, you're going to see we've got the header. And you see it's got all the same exact settings um, that we had set up, you know, uh, just in the last lesson. So that's what I mean by global settings is that this header appears in all these um, core pages. And because we already set it up once, you don't have to go in and reset up the header on all these different pages right in here. So because we got um, our home page header set up, it, the header is basically set up for all of these pages. And then you have the choice if you wanted to deactivate it or if you didn't want it to show on a certain page, you could do that. But ultimately, we've got our home page header set up. And that's it for this lesson. And I'll see you in the next.